Cryonic suspension is what scientists say to mean things that are frozen in ice. This technique is a preservation trick that prevents ice cream from turning into a gooey mess, and also makes our biology classes so much more interesting than it really should. Animals that date back thousands of years ago could pretty much be revived through this technique, so stick around to find out exactly how. Number 10. Ancient Cave Lion Despite what the photo looks like, there's simply no record of a tiger being frozen on a block of ice, either accidentally or intentionally. Lions, on the other hand, are a totally different story. Meet Sparta, an ancient lion cub that was found frozen deep in the Siberian Arctic. The cub was thought to belong to a family of Eurasian cave lions, an extinct kind of giant feline that died out eons ago. The cub's golden fur was matted with mud, but otherwise undamaged. Her teeth, skin, soft tissue, and organs are mummified, but all intact. Sparta is most likely the best preserved Ice Age creature at any point found, and was pretty much unharmed or unseparated from the fur being a little roughed up. She even had her whisker bristles preserved. Apart from Sparta, another lion cub was found in the same area that Sparta was uncovered. Boris, as the second cub is known, is 43,448 years old, according to radiocarbon dating at least. Love Dalen, a professor of evolutionary genetics at the Center for Paleogenetics in Stockholm, Sweden, theorized that the cubs, given their preservation, must have died from a sudden mudslide and then were buried quickly under the frost, leaving them intact over the course of years. Number 9. Lena Horse A lot of animals have been unearthed within the Siberian Arctic due to the rising global temperatures. Interestingly enough, most of these discoveries were centered around this one area. Last year, scientists found a 42,000-year-old Lenskaya horsefoal, an extinct horse breed, frozen in the Siberian permafrost. The one- to two-week-old foal likely drowned in mud and then froze, keeping the horse in ice for thousands of years. The most interesting fact about this foal is its blood, specifically how it was still able to retain its liquid state. Blood, over the course of years, typically coagulates and turns into a powder. Having said this, though, it is almost impossible to replicate DNA of such creatures without usable genetic material. Scientists have only ever collected liquid blood once from another fossil creature, which was the woolly mammoth discovered in Russia. A partnership between scientists at the Northeastern Federal University and the South Korean Soam Biotech Research Foundation are now planning on using the extracted blood, which was drawn from the horse's heart vessels, to clone it. Number 8. Blue Babe Bison the 36,000-year-old blue babe was discovered in a gold mine near Fairbanks, Alaska in 1979. It had a spectacular blue color because of its preserved skin. It was covered in red by the mineral Viviante and had thick tufts of preserved reddish-brown fur that indicate that this bison was well insulated for the cold Ice Age climates. The carcass also had deep claw marks, stretching down its side, which probably meant that it was killed by one of the top predators at the time, the Barry Nagayan lion. Near the end of the Pleistocene, around 13,000 years ago, bison populations in Yukon and Alaska were dwindling. Despite that, though, groups of the south of the glaciers were expanding and ultimately evolved into their modern forms. A bison bone found near Annie Ned Creek between Whitehorse and the Haines Junction indicates that the northern population in Yukon survived until only about 400 years ago. Number 7. The Horned Lark Researchers have recently discovered the remarkably well-preserved remains of this Ice Age bird that lived around 46,000 years ago near the Russian village of Balaya Gora in northeastern Siberia. The bird was preserved so well by the ice that the researchers initially mistook it for an animal that had died as recently as just the day before. Horned larks are small, long-bodied songbirds that usually adopt a horizontal posture. They have short, thin bills, short necks, and rounded heads, the shape sometimes broken by two small horns or feathers sticking up towards the back of their head. The frozen bird was found during an expedition with the local fossil ivory hunters inside of an ice tunnel in northeastern Siberia. Given that it was so well preserved, the bird was theorized to have frozen relatively quickly without a chance to decompose to have kept its shape intact even after so many years. Number 6. Worms Found in Siberian permafrost, scientists were able to revive nematodes found in the defrosted samples of Siberian ice. These worms are ancient, having been frozen for tens of thousands of years but were able to come back to life despite the time they were held in Siberia's deep freeze. This success represents the first evidence of multicellular organisms returning to life after a long-term slumber in Arctic permafrost. After defrosting the worms, researchers saw them moving and eating, making this the first evidence of natural cryopreservation of multicellular animals. 
Though nematodes are tiny, usually only about a millimeter in length, they're known to possess impressive abilities and some are found living 0.8 miles below the Earth's surface, deeper than any other multicellular animal. These worms are definitely resilient, and further study will be needed to unravel the mechanisms in the ancient nematodes that enabled them to survive such lengthy freezing. Number 5. The Woolly Rhinoceros Woolly mammoths aren't the only extremely furry animals that roamed the Earth during the Ice Age. Trudging along their heels are the woolly rhinoceroses, ancient ancestors of today's modern-day rhinos. That's why it shouldn't be surprising that some of these creatures have been frozen in ice. The unique remains of a baby woolly rhino were dug from the permafrost in 2014 in the Siberian region of Yakutia, officially called the Sakha Republic. Sasha, as what the creature was named, was initially found light gray, but after cleaning up the animal, it was found to have a different hue altogether. The rhino's hooves, teeth, and internal organs were still intact and still had some of its thick fur coat. The researchers even found its horn, which had broken off but laid nearby. Another surprise was the size of the cub. This baby rhino was around seven months old when it died, according to the analysis of its teeth. Yet it's also the same size as an 18-month-old modern animal. In other words, the long-gone Siberian rhinos were far larger than those now living rhinos. Now embalmed to show the creature's real appearance in Paleolithic times, the ancient mammal is now part of a display in Moscow. Number 4. The Cave Bear as you probably already deduced from the previous entries in today's video, the Siberian permafrost has been known to perfectly preserve most animals caught in its freeze. And the cave bear to those long lists of animals that Siberia has turned into popsicles. Reindeer hunters in Siberia have unearthed the remains of this extinct Ice Age beast and is the only adult of its species ever discovered that still has intact soft tissues, including its fur and even its black nose. Unlike many of today's bears, which are omnivorous, cave bears likely didn't eat meat except for maybe the occasional scavenging of other dead cave bears, making them largely veggie-eating machines. These bears must have eaten a lot because they were huge, given a height of up to 11.5 feet tall when they reared up on their hind legs. After living in Eurasia since at least 300,000 years ago, cave bears mysteriously went extinct about 25,000 to 20,000 years ago during the last glacial maximum. Number 3. Dagor Dagor, the name given to this perfectly preserved carcass of an ancient puppy, was found in the permafrost near the Indigera River northeast of Yakutsi Saka Republic. It was discovered by archaeologist Mark John Charles Rogerson and his wife Nina during the summer of 2018. The body was remarkably well preserved, and its fur, whiskers, nose, and teeth still remain intact. A part of its rib bone was analyzed by carbon dating, which placed the puppy at 18,000 years old. Although scientists still continue to debate the exact point at which dogs were first domesticated, if Dogor is determined to be a dog, it would be the oldest ever discovered thus far. Despite this, Dogor isn't necessarily a dog. DNA sequencing is usually sufficient to distinguish between dogs and wolves, however, even after a large amount of analysis, it's not been determined to which species Dogor belongs to. It's actually possible that Dogor represents a common ancestor of both species, but further research is still going on for that to be fully found out. Number 2. Baby Mammoth On May 2007, hunter Yuri Kuda discovered a baby mammoth in Russia's Arctic Yamal Peninsula. Frozen, of course. Just imagine what the media friends would be like if they had found a live one. Either way, this baby mammoth was named Liuba, which means love in Russian. The mummified calf weighed 110 pounds, was 33.5 inches tall, and measured 51 feet from trunk to tail, which would be roughly the same size as a very large dog. Studies of her teeth indicate that she was born in the spring, following a gestation period similar in length to that of a modern elephant. At the time of discovery, Liuba was still remarkably well preserved. Her eyes and trunk were intact, and some fur remained on her body, and her organs and skin were still in perfect condition. Scientists have been trying to figure out the reason behind the calf's early death, and as of recent, new information has been found indicating the possible reason of Liuba's early death. It was later discovered that the baby mammoth choked to death from mud, as indicated on her CT scans. Today, Liuba's permanent home is the Shamanovsky Museum and Exhibition Center in Salakhard, Russia. Number 1. Tardigrades Tardigrades are often referred to as water bears because of their chunky bodies and bear-like claws. Despite their minuscule size, they are by all accounts one of the hardiest creatures on Earth, surviving different extreme temperatures. They're actually able to slow down their metabolism until it practically stops, a process known as cryptobiosis, which enables them to withstand freezing. Researchers at the National Institute of Polar Research in Tokyo defrosted and revived two of the tiny animals from a batch collected in the Antarctic in 1983. 
What makes the discovery interesting is how these little bears were able to cope and breed even after 30 years of preservation in ice. Their ability to stay alive after such a long time makes a new record for longest survival rate, and the fact that they're able to survive has helped scientists understand better about tissues and the ability to withstand freezing temperatures just like these bears, hoping to replicate the same process in humans. See you all next time!